So what I have today is just some chicken thighs that I've seasoned with some SPG. Now I already put the seasoning on them. It's a little salt, a pepper, garlic, paprika, and cumin. You can use salt and pepper, that's fine, or just a seasoning of your choice. Now, this is uh, boneless now, uh, but these were originally bone in, and I removed the bones from them. I removed the skin from them and some of the fat and stuff like that. Uh, you can get these already skinless. That will work fine. This is just a quick way, and I'm going to turn this into just a quick chicken sandwich. So first, we're just going to throw a little olive oil. Then, I'm just going to go ahead and take these chicken thighs. I've been preheating this for about, actually this has been preheating for a while, maybe a half hour because I started preheating it and then got sidetracked. Here's another one. This one kind of come apart a little bit when I took the bone out. We're going to set that right there and place that right there. So what we want to do is get these to about 160 to 165 degrees or more. Then we're going to add some barbecue sauce. We're going to add some cheese. We're going to put it on a bun. That's it. This is super simple, super fast. And we're going to make a chicken sandwich from chicken thighs. In this video, we're going to be using this. It is some famous Dave's sweet and spicy. Now this is mild. So if you don't want to uh, spice it up, you don't have to add that jalapeno habanero cheese that we're going to add on here. But you can use the barbecue sauce of your choice. Now to cook with a little bit of the helping process of the internal, these are moving nicely. We're going to go ahead and put this little dome over it. Kind of get that heat inside, help cook the middle. Love this thing. Amazing. Put it in there that's going to help the heat hold in to these chickens. I do have these burners. I'm going to turn them up a little. They've been on low and I'm just going to put them on about medium to medium low and let that cook. Uh, got all burners on and then in a minute we're going to flip. Now let's go ahead and take a look beneath and flip them. Gosh, those look beautiful. Man, let's just go ahead and cook those a bit. So I just checked these and we are now above temperature of uh, 165 degrees. That one, eh, right there is about 163, 180, 173. That's a, the big one's a little bit under, but it's not going to be there for long. What I want to do now is just go ahead and flip these. And just crank the heat up in the center for a minute, brown them. Just want to kind of get a little bit of a brown toward them. And we're going to just put it on medium to medium high for a minute. It just kind of sear them a little bit. Then flip, hit the other side. Kind of getting that nice little bit of a more of a brown. That one don't show as much, but searing them. Yep, a little brown there. Sear that side for just a minute. And I'm going to put this little guy right on top because when I melt the cheese, I'll just melt that cheese over that, hopefully lock that down in there. Because right here's how we're going to do it. Then we're just going to go ahead and add this. Famous Dave Sweet and Zesty. I love this stuff. Time to get that grill a little messy. Just gonna brush it all in. Now I can start to smell that. <laughs> oh, that smell of that barbecue sauce coming up at me. Ooh, yeah. Starting to smell like barbecue chicken up in here. Okay. Just let that cook a minute or so, and then we're going to add cheese. Jalapeno and habanero cheese. 
You can use regular cheese if you want. You don't have to use cheese. All three of us that are having these sandwiches today all opted in for this one. So we're going to put it all on each one of these. And then place this dump. Absolutely love this, especially if you don't have a lid on yours. Get you one of these. You put this over here, that's going to close all that heat inside, allow that cheese to just wrap around and melt. Then we're going to pull them off and throw them on a bun. Of course, while we have that cheese melting, there's nothing better than just a little bit of a toasted bun. So we're just going to lay these around the grill. Nice and melted habanero cheese. Let's go ahead. Now look at this. It don't take long. Toast the bottoms. You know what? Let me get a spatula for this. Just take a look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, does that not look amazing? Take the other bun, throw it right on top. If you want to add any veggies, you can. If you want to add any mayo or something, you can. Or that's a that started brown. You could just throw it right on there and eat it, and that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and check this out. You know what, I thought, this is missing something. That cheese is all gooey there, and it's missing some pickles. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go, let's see how she is, how it tastes. Absolutely amazing. This. is great get you some chicken thighs makes an excellent sandwich throw it on your black stone and create it as your own barbecue sauce you have in the fridge get some some cheese your favorite a few toppings whatever you want throw it on a bun there's nothing better than cooking outdoors is all we do on this channel be sure and subscribe to the oaky smoking channel it's all outdoors black stone smoking on the pit barrel come on now y'all I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day.